1963, Chrysler gave away 55 jet-powered cars for free. So why aren't we driving jet-powered cars today? Everyone thinks that these failed because the technology was bad. Not so. These cars were incredible. They could run on anything. Gasoline, diesel, kerosene, even tequila. They had no radiator, no spark plugs, no oil changes were needed. These could run basically maintenance-free for 100,000 miles before even needing a tune-up. Chrysler handpicked 203 regular families from across America to test drive these cars for two years. People loved them. At first, some of the test drivers thought that they felt a vibration, but it was later determined that it was actually coming from the tires. That's how smooth these jet engines were. They did, however, have a super complicated startup procedure something that most people didn't want to have to deal with daily. The sad part of the story is that after the program ended, Chrysler decided to destroy every single one of these. They faced a bad choice, either pay massive import tariffs on the Italian-made bodies or crush the cars. They decided to scrap 46 out of the 55 cars made. Today, only eight exist in museums, and Jay Leno has the ninth. And as you might expect, it's fully operable and being driven.